I'm back with another update on the progress of the build of the ETK-30. Last time we were here, you saw we put the boat together for the very first time. Had to do that to make sure that the beams and the hulls and the floats and everything lined up in registry. After that, the boat came back up here for making the installation of the sockets for the beams permanent. The installation is just about final now. We have a couple more strips to put along the outer edge under the beams to the hull and on the interior. But this will give you a pretty good idea of what they'll look like. And here's the rear beam socket installation. Apart from the beams and sockets and the installation assembly of the boat, I wanted to use this opportunity to go back and touch on some old business and bring you up to date. <clears throat> I wanted the ETK to be able to be single-handed as well. So I've designed a system that I think is pretty trick. Leave your comments below, let me know what you think. Let me describe it here. While the original provision for the forward helm station is still in place, we've added foot steering to the rear seat. The blue tape indicates the attachment point for the traction lines. They proceed up through the hooky loop, through ferrules, and off to the cut. The standard control bar, independent of the traction line, sits comfortably in the pilot's seat. With the control lines leading forward to the base of the hooky loop, and then on up to the leading edge of the hooky loop and off to the kite. This arrangement keeps all lines away from the person in the front seat as well as allowing the person in the front seat to rotate their seat 180 degrees and sit comfortably and communicate with the skipper. So there you have it. That's the last update for 2022 on the ETK-30. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next year in 2023. Until then, have a very Merry Christmas and a great New Year. I'll look forward to seeing you then. Take care of yourself. Aloha.